Hey guys, today I'm going to play around with the Morphe Times Jacqueline Hill palette again. I did show it in a first impressions last week and today I wanted to do a little bit more in depth of a tutorial. This is in the range Bling Boss. If you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. This is a 10 pan palette and I used all the shades but the last two on the right there, which are more plum. I started with the Hush Hush shade. And I use that as my transition shade all over my crease. And I just started with using a fluffy brush. I didn't get a chance to do swatches for this video. There are several online already. I did use tape, which is so, so helpful when creating a look like this one. It just helps keep everything looking clean and even as long as you line it up correctly. Next I go in with that brick red shade which is called Sparks and I'm starting by just stamping that into my outer crease and then working it along the whole length of my crease. I just want that transition to be very visible so I do work it up a little bit more. That way when I cut it out with concealer you'll still be able to see that red. And as an example you can already see it on the other eye there. And I just gently work that out. I am using a light hand here. And I go back and forth a couple times with the transitional hush hush shade and the red shade just to get it where I want it to be. I found this red blended so so easily so much in fact I had to go back and do the same motion twice. I didn't mind though it definitely gave me the color payoff that I wanted. You can see it gets a little bit messy on my lid again I just didn't really mind since I will be going in and cutting that out with concealer. Has anyone bought any of the other palettes from this collection? I'm currently looking at Dark Magic or Armed and Dangerous next. They both seem like they'll be pretty appropriate for fall. And now I am going to begin cutting my crease. I start on the lower part of my lid and just work my way up. And I am following my true crease line. I'm not going above it. I'm not looking to widen the look of my eye for this particular look. And again, it's a little bit messy. I do blend it out in the end. The brush I'm using is actually from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I usually find these brushes in the palettes to be quite useless from any brand, not just Urban Decay, but this one I particularly like for cutting my crease. I like the density of the actual bristles in there but it's still flexible so I can still get it to do what I want. And I just extend that down a little bit more in my inner corner. And I fuss with it a little bit until it becomes the shape that I want it to be. I think sometimes when we look at these images on Instagram or on YouTube even, they seem a little bit intimidating. But when it boils down to it, they really aren't too difficult. It just takes a steady hand and a little bit of patience and some practice. Now I'm going in with my liquid liner. This one is from Smashbox. I can't remember the name of it, but I will have it down below. By no means am I an expert at liquid liner. I have not mastered doing it with one hand yet. You can see me struggling a little bit here as my mouth gapes open in concentration. 
I'm not too worried about this being super clean or precise because I will be co covering it with the shimmer shades in the palette. As I just turned 30, I've just decided I really need to start learning how to put on liner without pulling or tugging around my eye area. Those little fine lines will be showing up soon, I'm sure, and anything I can do to prevent them, I am trying to do. Next, I'm going to go in with five shimmer shades from this collection. I'm going to start with Glitz and Glam, which is on the bottom there. It's that gold sheen one. And you'll see I slowly am going to add a gradient effect from five of those shimmers. And that gold doesn't show up super, super well, so I do go back over it once more. Bling Bling is the lighter pink sheen, and I dip into that next, and I blend them together. There's times in this video where I'm a little bit directionally challenged. It just takes me some getting used to. And I cover my eyes a couple times as well, so I apologize for that. And I am using MAC Fix Plus for every single time that I change a different into a different shade. Next one is Ballsy, which is kind of like a lilac, I'd say, with gold flecks in it. That's one of my favorites from this collection. And Pizzazz is the next one I go into, which is more of like a mauve. Got a little bit more of that pink in it. Again, just spraying my brush with Fix Plus beforehand. And you can see there even, I make a tiny little mistake. I do go back over with concealer later on. And this is the deepest shade that I used, which was Gem. It's a bright purple. And it is very pigmented once I get a couple layers of it on there. And here we go. So then I just take all the way from the end of that into the middle and smooth it out. And I fuss with it a little bit more until it becomes the shape I want it to be. Like I said, I did have to go back in with a little bit of concealer at one point just to clean it up. And on both eyes, I went back through and did the shimmers twice. You can see I'm adding a little bit more of that middle pink shade there, the mob, the pizzazz. And next I am taking Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. This is a gold glitter and it's perfect for this kind of look. I feel like my camera lost focus a little bit at this point so I do apologize. But I still think you can see pretty well what I'm doing. I started on that outer corner right above my wing and then I came back through and did my inner corner. This draws a fairly thin line. You can go back up, go back in through and double it if you want to, but it does put on enough glitter, I feel, at the very first shot. And I'm just checking sure to make sure everything is even and where I want it to be. And last but not least, I took a little bit of a highlighter from Jouer. This is in the rose gold shade. I thought it would look pretty with the tones I already used. And I added that underneath my brow. I blended it in a bit. And then I sprayed my brush with a little bit more Fix Plus and I used it as an inner corner highlight.
And here is the completed look. I am quite happy with the way it turned out. This is by far my favorite makeup I've gotten to create with this palette. This was my third time playing in it and I really enjoyed this look. I did go ahead and I just added a little bit more of that red shade to the middle of my bottom lower lash line and then I did the plum which I used on that outer edge here. I did that on the bottom lower lash line just towards the edge and then I blended it all out with Hush Hush which is the first shade that I used. I did forgo putting on lashes today just because I wanted to be able to show that gradient effect from the liner. I did use two coats of the new Hourglass Mascara. If you guys didn't see my Sephora haul, I'm going to link it up right here. But I did get to use two other items from that video. I'm also wearing the Fenty Gloss Balm, which I really like. I just have it over another matte liquid lipstick. It's a little more pink than I wanted to be today. I'm feeling a little Barbie-ish with my hair. But overall, I think it goes well together. And I'm also wearing the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation in the shade Cameo, and I think it's a match. I am so excited. I was so nervous it was gonna be too light, and I think it looks just fine. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.